At least four people in Phoenix, including a police officer, have been killed in the past two weeks. Crashes caused by red light runners. And now there's talk of starting up the city's red light camera enforcement program again. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us live with the details. Nicole. Well, John, overall, Phoenix police say they've seen a spike in the number of deadly traffic collisions just this year from January to now. 106 people have died in car crashes. And during the same time frame last year, that number was 59. So with the recent red light running crashes and tragedies, residents and the mayor now calling for those red light enforcement cameras to go back on. The number of people killed in Phoenix in a car crash has doubled this year so far. And a AAA study found that Arizona leads the nation with the highest rate of red light running deaths. The Phoenix Police Department has been dealing with the tragic toll in the last couple of weeks. And tragically, that same day that we held the final goodbye for our officer, many of our officers responded to a triple traffic fatality where an entire family of three people were killed from a red light collision. People who work and live near Cave Creek and Greenway Parkway where Officer Gennaro New was killed support red light camera enforcement. I think if it saves a life, it's, it's worth it. It's not going to get any better, <laughs> you know, unless they do something. It's been 18 months since the Phoenix City Council voted to shut down about a dozen red light cameras, but now there's a new push to turn them on again. Mayor Kate Gallego releasing a statement saying in part, I believe strongly that red light cameras are an important tool for protecting the people of Phoenix. I've supported them in the past and will again. You can expect to see return to a subcommittee agenda this fall. Don't be distracted when you're driving. Pay attention to the speed limits and pay attention to other drivers as well, because again, it's a shared responsibility for us to all get where we're going safely. And new data from the, scene, the city of Phoenix shows that the majority of the red light running crashes are happening at freeway interchanges, more specifically along the I-17 here in Phoenix. There have been 109 crashes at five interchanges along I-17, and that's just in a two-year span. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.